So, it's such a pleasure to be here this evening for Coralina, our land beautiful. Uh, Nettie Wild has been a... a regular participant in this festival since 1988 with rustling of leaves inside the Philippine Revolution. And so has producer Betsy Carson. It's also such a pleasure to be able to screen a film that shows British Columbia in such a incredibly beautiful and also uh, truthful and complex way. It's also nice to introduce a film of Nettie's that has already triumphed, really, having won the Audience Award and the Award for Best Canadian Documentary at Hot Dogs. So would you please give a very warm welcome to Nettie <laughs> to Biff, to Alan, to Terry, to Cam, to Rhiannon, to this extraordinary group of people who put on what I believe to be one of the hottest, best film festivals on the planet. And it's not just because they program my films, um, but it's because there's a real dedication to independent film from all over the world, and it really shows. So thanks, Alan, for doing what you do. These films don't get made on their own, and so I would like to big, send out a big thank you to our funders, who include uh, a couple of people in the audience tonight. Um, Maureen Levitt from Super Channel was the first person to come on board. Murray Battle from Knowledge also uh, came on, and um, I'd also like to thank if Steve Bates and the whole telephone gang is here. Uh, the Canada Media Fund, and uh, the Rogers Documentary uh, Group of Funds. So they... <laughs> this Kamalia had its world premiere where it should have had it, which is in the northern communities where it was shot, in Telegraph Creek, in Iskut, and in Dees Lake. This is another premiere, a very, very special premiere, because the everybody on our film, save two people, are from Vancouver. So this is the first time that our crew is able to see the film. So it's a, it's a very, very important screening in that sense. Um, and also, we have people who have traveled from up north to join us, who you will meet in front of the lens and who we will bring on after the screening of both the crew and our visitors. And so I really urge you to stay, if you could, for the discussion afterwards. Konalina is, um, it's about a part of the planet which is really, really close to my heart. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a place that has extraordinary people who live and move across it. And together, the land and those people are facing extraordinary change. We thought, as a film crew, that it was time for us to take a huge artistic leap. So this is a film the likes of which I haven't made before. Um, and we, as I got to work, as you will see on the screen, with some really, really extraordinary filmmakers. And together we took a big risk with Konalina. We shot and cut it like jazz. It's a journey into an amazing land. Um, I really ask you to give yourself over to 96 minutes of a very visceral, sensual experience. We did it because we really wanted to reach out and see if we could surprise ourselves 
both in terms of the form of the film and in terms of content. We did surprise the filmmakers. I'd be really interested to see if we surprised you. So we'll see you in 96 minutes. Thanks.